So we start here with a straightforward definition, one of the fundamentals, the foundation pieces that you have to know if you're going to have any opportunity to apply your knowledge to the more challenging questions. It's only one mark. Power of an atom to attract a pair of electrons will not get you the mark. Commonly, say commonly, where people get it wrong, they commonly get it wrong because they forget to say that this is in a covalent bond. Two marks here to explain how permanent dipole-dipole forces arise between hydrogen chloride molecules. So note that this is between one HCl molecule and another. To begin with, it's about recognising that when you have an HCl molecule, there is a difference in electronegativity, which means a dipole is formed. The second mark is for recognising that there will then be an attraction between the delta negative on one molecule and the delta positive on another molecule. shapes of molecules now and there's a lot of these that you're hopefully familiar with from your practice. SiH4, well silicon is in group 4, 4 electrons in the outer shell, so 4 bonding pairs, no lone pairs, it's tetrahedral. pH3 is trigonal pyramidal. Phosphorus is in group 5, so it has 3 bonding pairs and it has 2, le two electrons left over to make a lone pair. So this is based on tetrahedral but it's trigonal pyramidal, if you were asked, bond angle would be 107 degrees. BeCl2 is linear, because beryllium is group 2, two electrons in the outer shell, so it makes two bonding pairs, uh, no lone pairs, linear 180. And finally, for the shapes, CH3Cl is also tetrahedral, four bonding pairs, no lone pairs, around carbon, which is in group four. In terms of the ones that have a permanent dipole, you'll get the marks for each correct uh, molecule in its entirety. So you would need to have tetrahedral with no tick for SiH4, pH3, trigonal pyramidal with a tick, etc. SiH4 and BCl2 do not have a permanent dipole, and it's down to the symmetry. If you think about the SiH4, all of the H's are pulling equally on the central silicon. So we don't end up with that dipole being formed, similarly with BCl2. CH3Cl, the chlorine, is more electronegative than the hydrogens, so it does have a greater pull on the electrons. And in the pH 3, we've got a lone pair, which definitely has a stronger um, impact.